Welcome back to the ESBR Boxing YouTube channel. Uh, it's Niall. And uh, yeah, just before we start this video, as always, remember if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel at ESBR Boxing. We've a lot of great content, um, all that good stuff, especially from ringside tonight for, from the fight we're about to talk about here. As Dennis McCann has produced an absolute masterclass to uh, set the record straight against uh, Iron Up Baluta. At the O2 Arena, um, of course, the pair met last year in a classic at York Hall that was declared a, a draw, you know, after a, a cut suffered by McCann. But yeah, they fought again tonight, and masterclass is the only word I can use from Dennis uh, Dennis McCann. It was it was a real boxing clinic he put on, uh, much improved performance in the first fight last year. Uh, had looked like he was he, he had much more tools to his belt this time around. Uh, he boxed beautifully, you know, mixed the shots up well, the head and body, lovely, uh, lovely jab, elusive, quick, uh, caught defensively so solid when when he did land. Uh, Baluta McCann was catching it on the gloves. Uh, yeah, just an all round absolutely marvelous performance. Um. To be quite honest with you, and Carl Frampton kind of said at the end of the fight there in the broadcast that it, it's possibly the British performance of the year. And to be honest with you, it's hard to argue with that. From start to finish, it was just so disciplined and so technically brilliant from McCann. Uh, he never strayed, even when Baluta, we know what he's like unorthodox, doesn't stop coming. Great engine, you know things that kind of flustered him in the first fight. Uh, although I know the cut happened as well, but. He remained composed. McCann didn't stray from the game plan, and yeah, just an all-round brilliant, brilliant performance where he won every round. To be quite honest with you, and um, one of the judges' scorecards gave it one twenty, one oh eight, gave it that way as well. And the other, the other two scored it one seventeen, uh, one eleven. But yeah, a wide, wide points win and a well-deserved points win for McCann. So, and just a word of a credit to Hepaluta as well. Of course, we know what he's like. He's an absolute handful for anybody. He proved it against McCann last year. Um, he proved it. He beat Andrew Kane. He beat uh, TJ Donny. He beat uh, David Oliver Joyce. He gave Michael Conlon a really tough fight. So he's going to give anybody who's in the ring with a really tough night. And nobody has, has outclassed uh, Iron Opelouta like that, like Dennis McCann just did. So it's a real statement win. And um. Of course, yeah, it looked like he was going to stop him too on numerous occasions. Sticking and body shot had uh, Baluta really hurt on numerous occasions. But, you know, tough as all boots, he hung in there. He's never been stopped and he proved why there. Uh, but, yeah, really tough operator. So that was the, the review of the fight, I suppose. Um, I suppose the, the question now is what's next for Dennis McCann? Of course, he won. He, he's just won the European Super Bantamweight title there. Uh, to be honest, uh, so that's a, a big, big win and a big kind of claim to be the best European Super Bantamweight. Uh, yeah, a really, really the biggest title of his career so far. So, how far could he go? Really, you know, he's definitely he, he's world class for me in, in waiting. You know, he is really world class. Um. Of course, it's an interesting division. You have the 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 monster uh, holding all the belts, the undisputed champion. Not anyway. We're not talking about that level yet, but I think Dennis McCann could be a future world champion. He wouldn't be it anyway yet. Obviously, uh, we're not saying that, but anyway, it's not going to be at one twenty two for for much longer, you know. And then you look at the other fighters you've got. You've got uh, Akhmadaliev. Would it be a too much of a step up for Dennis McCann just yet? Possibly, I think it would be. Um, but apart from that, I'm struggling to see who beats Dennis McCann at 122. I really am. Um, at the likes of Marlon de Palais, I think Dennis McCann could beat Marlon de Palais. Uh, one fascinating fight for me would be uh to see him face John Real Casemiro. I think that'll be really interesting to see how he deals with a huge puncher at 122 because that's the test that he has to, the one, the kind of test that he has to pass is to how he takes a big shot from a big puncher. Can he handle it? What's his chain like? 
but it wouldn't surprise me if, if Dennis McCann beat Casemiro as well. Uh, you know, if he can't take that shot. There's also a potential clash with Liam Davies, which would be fascinating. Uh, a really high-level technical matchup between his fellow kind of, you know, an all-British clash with his fellow uh, countrymen there. I think Dennis McCann will comfortably beat Liam Davis. You know, I really do. Uh, it's battle of the unbeatens, but I think D Dennis McCann is way more versatile than Davis is. So, yeah, I just think Dennis McCann is a, is, is an absolutely world champion in waiting. Um, once Inouye moves on and once maybe Ahmed Aliyev moves on, Dennis McCann could definitely, definitely get his hands on world titles after that phenomenal uh, performance and victory over... Uh, Iron Up at the O2 Arena London to win the European Super Bantamweight title and of course set the record straight from last year when the pair drew at York Hall uh, in the same city so yeah just it was it was a brilliant watch so yeah let us know what you think in the comments what did you make of that performance Um, you're bound to be impressed everybody was impressed with that one they really were it's, it's hard not to be Um, and yeah just let us know what you think can Dennis McCann win world titles at 122. Um, do you agree with me that he can? Would he beat kind of everybody, everybody in the division not named uh, anyway or Akhmedaliev, and maybe even win world titles beyond? Let us know what you think. And of course, uh, don't forget, as I mentioned at the start of the video, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel at ESBR Boxing. We're live from ringside tonight, so there'll be plenty of great content, interviews, uh, videos, uh, all that good stuff. And yeah, subscribe to our social media channels and also give us a download on Spotify. Uh, until next time, sp speak again and take care.